Here we have another factor by grouping for a trinomial, so that means we're going to want to split the middle term up so that we have a total of four terms. So let's go through the steps again of first finding the factors that we want to split the middle term into, then we rewrite the trinomial, and then we factor by grouping. But before you do anything else, always check to see if you can pull out a GCF. And for this trinomial, we can pull out a 3, and we're left over with 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. That is the trinomial that we're going to use these steps for now. And when we're all done with our final binomial times binomial answer, we'll put the GCF of 3 out in front of it. All right, so first we look at factors of first times last, 3 times minus 8, minus 24, that add up to the middle plus 2. And looking at the signs, we can get a bit of information. Because we're looking at factors of a negative number, we know that we're either going to be plus times minus or minus times plus, but either way, opposite signs. And if we look at the, what they sum to, because they sum to a positive, those two opposite signs must have the positive number being the larger one, so that when you add, you get more positive left over. So plus is going to be the larger factor. So when I start listing out my factors, like 1 times 24, I want it to be negative, opposite signs, and plus is going to be larger. Therefore, I'll make the smaller number, the 1, a negative 1. And then I go up again. So minus 2 times 12, 3 times 8, so minus 3 times 8. Then 4 times 6 would be 24, so minus 4 times 6. 5 doesn't work. And then 6, we're just back again at 4 times 6. And we're going to want to have the 4 being minus again, which means we're repeating ourselves. So we're done. This is the complete list of factorings that we need to consider. Now we want to see which one adds up to 2. And it would be this one right here. So we're going to use minus 4 and 6 to break up or rewrite the initial um, trinomial. So let's go ahead and do that. Now remember this is the 3 on the outside, that GCF. But for this grouping part, I'm just going to use this trinomial here. So I have 3x squared, break up the 2x into minus 4x plus 6x. Then bring the minus 8 down. Now I factor by grouping. So the first two, I've got x comes out, and I'm left with 3x take away 4. And the last two, I could pull out a 2. The question is, do I pull out a 2 or a minus 2? And if I notice that if I leave it the way it is and just pull out a positive, my signs will be plus minus in the binomial. That means they will be the same as this, plus minus. So I don't want to pull out a negative and make these signs switch order. I want to keep it like it is. And I get 3x take away 4, pull out the common binomial, and we have our answer. Almost, right? Because this GCF is in front of everything. And then we're done. All right, so you're always going to use the same three steps when you do the factor by grouping. Well, really four steps. First, a GCF, and then you go to find the factors, rewrite, factor by grouping.